hi guys welcome back to my channel so i finally remembered one to bring my little microphone because it does make a world of a difference but also um what was i gonna say i finally am making an intro i feel like for all my shopping vlogs it's just clips and i know it's not very cohesive so hopefully this intro helps navigate the way in my Luebe sa actually told me that they're doing a cute little like two hour event at the boutique at south coast from five to seven on the new squeeze bag so i'm excited to try that out i've never ever gone to like a launch event ever i've just i've never really purchased things that consistently that my essays would ask me to come i'm usually just a get one bag a year type of gal but i feel like in the last three years i've bought things more consistently i guess let's just come along with me i hope you guys enjoy i'm pretty sure this vlog is going to be on the shorter side but we shall see i think i want to go into dior to smell gris again because right now i'm wearing their jasmine one that i got a little sample of and i really want to buy a dior perfume i think i decided it's going to be dior but yeah okay bye guys okay so i finally got to see the pine green saddle card holder that i mentioned before it was actually a lot bigger than i expected it to be which is a little disappointing i wanted it to be a lot smaller so i can fit it in my smaller bags the card holder on the bottom is just a traditional saddle card holder size i was tempted to get it but i really just wanted the card holder with the slits on the back so that was the only unfortunate thing but the color is gorgeous 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 and then I actually was able to try on the Toujours bag as well. This one is the smaller size. Aesthetically, I actually think this is really, really adorable and it has grown on me. However, I feel like as a crook of the arm bag, it wasn't that comfortable. The height of the handles was a little too short and I have really thin wrists already. And then this is the bigger size, much, much bigger. I feel like this size would be actually really good for travel because it's kind of low key if you don't know what Dior Canache print is. I think it's way more low key than the Dior book tote for sure but yeah I actually really like it. it's grown on me and then I was able to try on the new Dior Boston bag as well in the box calfskin so you can see just how shiny this leather is as well and the minimalistic CD hardware logo on the top aesthetically I actually do like the look of this price point wise I personally would rather buy something else you guys know me I'm just a sucker for the old Dior Boston bags and then this is just what the bag looks like on the inside so it's like a twist lock closure and then you see these like weird little flaps i don't know how i feel about the little flaps on the sides but it's still aesthetically really cute so and then this is the gorgeous gorgeous micro lady dior bag with the beaded work on it and you can also tell that it's actually white leather the other pieces in this collection with the flowers and the white is actually white denim but this bag is made with leather with the rose gold hardware just the detail alone on this bag is absolutely stunning it's definitely like a piece of art it's just so so expensive i believe the whole set is like fourteen thousand dollars and then i was able to try on the placid blue and the the small DJOY. I believe this is the small size, I think, potentially the medium, I'm not quite sure, but it actually has grown on me as well, which is so funny because I hated this bag when it first came out, but I love the Placid Blue so much. Alrighty, and then we stopped into Louis before the event, and I saw this on the shelf, and I had to try it on. This super chunky donut chain. It was the first time I saw the donut chain being this chunky. I feel like it's kind of an elevated version of what Bottega Veneta tried to do with their chain. As a shoulder strap, it's just, oh, stunning, stunning, and I loved it paired with this color of the flamenco. I'm just obsessed. I definitely want to add a donut chain with my flamenco in the future. And then I was able to try on the new crop fold puzzle bag see aesthetically i like the way it looks straight on like this but then when you get the profile shot i don't know i feel like it looks like a paper folded boat hat do you guys see the cute little mushroom felt charm though i thought that was adorable my dream is for them to come out with more vegetables imagine a felt bok choy it would be so on that i do love this color i believe this new white color is called chalk as well and yeah what do you guys think about this bag and currently, Louie Ready to Wear has me in a chokehold. This shirt was absolutely made for me. Unfortunately, it was like $450, but it was actually very, very soft, way softer than their tank tops. And I love the little embroidered anagram logo. This long sleeve was very interesting, but the fabric on this is phenomenal. The button details, I don't think I could rock, but both of these were very soft, especially this long sleeve. And then this 
purple pajama top oh my word they have this in like two other colors as well i want to buy this so bad but unfortunately it's 1700 doll hairs look at even the little details at the bottom of the sleeves oh it's so stunning i would love this in the gray or the cream one but this lavender magnificent and here we have the mini hammock bag as well i actually think aesthetically this bag is super super cute i love all the details about this bag and it's super lightweight and comfortable the only thing is i feel like where your elbow is when you push it towards your body it's not as comfortable as i wanted it to be and guys look my essay told me that they have new animals in their little animal felt collection so there's a poodle and a chow chow how freaking adorable also really quick guys, my essay did actually tell me that Dueve is planning on discontinuing their light caramel color, especially in this grained textured leather. It's the one from vlogs way way back where I told you guys that it initially was the one that I wanted and then I saw it in person and it reminded me of a basketball. My essay equally agreed and he said it wasn't doing very well, a lot of people complained that it was too orange. So yeah, fun little facts. And I didn't know that Lueve had these super cute little seed creature charms. You guys see the little crab there? Oh my word, it's so freaking adorable. I was high key debating between the little crab or this little puffer fish. I thought it was a whale, but it is a puffer fish. I love that it was two toned, that there was gold on the bottom. And then my essay showed me a really cute way to apply these so you can actually get these cool little stoppers, I guess. So it basically, I'll show another picture of it on the website where it has the anagram logo on the bottom and a lot of people like to add the singular charm instead of adding it on the little rope so that was super super cute and here we have the new squeeze bag in the small size this is the color chalk and it was absolutely stunning the napa leather on this was so soft and it was so light and then they actually did make the donut chain on this a lot lighter for comfortability obviously it's called the squeeze bag because it has a little handle on top and you can't adjust it to wear it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag the crossbody with the big one on me would just eat me up i mean to be honest i think the larger size or technically medium size in this was already too big for me but i love 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 the small one and it is now definitely on my wish list what do you guys think did you guys try it on let me know and then to end the shopping vlog of course i finally was able to try on the bottega veneta tech cassette bag and i love 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 and adore it kind of reaffirms that i really do want it so the one on the left in the thunder dark gray color is the one that i want and they do obviously have the smaller version on the right side as well ironically the essay told me that he regrets getting the lighter gray and he wishes that he got it in the thunder which is the one that i'm wearing <laughs> We are currently on our way back home. I just left the event. It was really, really cute. It's not that serious. Like I thought it would be more serious, like the door would be closed, but people can still go in and out, which was really cool. I tried on the new squeeze bag. Okay, please don't get nervous. I have my seatbelt on for everyone worrying about my safety. And the reason why I'm not looking into the camera is because I'm driving, but I wanted to end this vlog kind of like in a continuous circle, not me sitting on the floor in my bedroom. You know what I mean? Let me just give you a little backtrack. So I was filming a little bit inside of the store and before I saw my SA, another worker told me to stop filming, which was totally fine. Like that's completely fine. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Da, 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 and she was really lovely and super nice so i couldn't film that much afterwards so that's why there were some pictures instead of actual footage is the only thing so i did try on the new squeeze bag and i loved it like i actually truly truly did it was giving me if the chanel 22 the flamenco and the bottega veneta jody bag all morphed into some sort of lueve different hybrid that was the bag that it was so there are two sizes for the new squeeze bag there's a bigger size and then there's a smaller size i personally like the smaller size more the bigger size was giving me like a lueve version of the bottega jody which was really fun and awesome but i love and i mean i love the mini size it came in this new color i forgot exactly what it was called but he told me that that's like the most popular color so i just wanted to tell you guys how amazing amazing the squeeze bag is 
honestly if we're talking about against my body i actually thought the mini squeeze back cross body looked better than my small chanel 22 truly i'm gonna pop up a picture i love the way it looked it was actually kind of giving me vibes of the hermes evelyn bag but kind of like a modern twist to it because of the donut chain backstory about the donut chain is when i first saw the donut chain i actually was not a fan of it at all like at all at all and then seeing the donut chain being added on as an accessory like an alternate strap to the flamenco is what really converted me to the donut chain seeing the donut chain on the squeeze bag is actually it just looks so good there's an extender on the squeeze bag i wanted to film my essay putting on the chain together and everything like that and i know my essay doesn't mind when i film but because a previous lady told me not to film i didn't want to disrespect her and just start filming because i felt like that would just be so rude hence why i only got either a couple pictures of me putting on the squeeze bag if you guys didn't know so the squeeze bag actually does come with an additional chain strap the donut chain strap so that's how you can make it crossbody or you can do it as a shoulder bag the mini size actually if i were to buy that bag i would love to get it as a crossbody bag i think my next bag is either going to be the comic hammock or another flamenco either in the mini size or the large size for travel i don't think i'm ever gonna leave this lueve era and you know what my essay actually told me is that japan if you guys have seen my bags that like people wear in japan video lueve was like the number one brand that i saw in terms of like luxury brand of course and then second was actually hermes like Louis Vuitton wasn't as common unless it was vintage, which is honestly really cool too. Apparently, Lueve as a brand, their biggest market, like their number one market is actually japan lueve makes the most sales in japan which i love and adore because i notice it i notice it when i watch people's what's in my bag videos and i notice it when you see japanese influencers or just japanese people in general the bags that they want the bags that they love lueve is so big in japan which i love 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 that is it i did buy something at dior that i think think you'll see in the vlog i don't remember exactly but it's very anticlimactic i did not buy the your saddle card holder i didn't try on the lady dior bag i definitely want to try it on later but obviously like i don't plan on buying a lady dior bag because those prices hurt if i were to buy a lady dior it would be the micro djoy for sure imagine if they came out with a pine green in the micro djoy but anyways going back to it so i saw the card holders and i kind of wanted to morph them to the one with the slits on the back were the was the one that i initially wanted but it was just a lot bigger than i expected it to be and their normal saddle card holder that's like super super popular i like it but i wanted the slits on the back for ease so i didn't end up getting that but i did end up buying a perfume so which is so hilarious because the poll that i did on my community area <laughs> you guys <laughs> all voted for the louis vuitton spell on you <laughs> and i'm so sorry i genuinely wanted your guys's advice truly 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 the last time when i went into dior to get the scarf the essay actually gave me a couple samples he gave me samples of the jasmine one dior riviera and lucky and apparently lucky is actually really popular because i really like more lighter fresher scents not really heavy ones okay this is uh, maggie and her mini mic and i'm gonna stay focused the sun is about to set but let me just show you guys look look how pretty bye guys